programmed it, so it's reading a PSI now. The low pressure is just maxed out because I have a jumper on here because I don't have the uh, low pressure sensor hooked up. So if it reads lower, you know, that uh, certain threshold, it's going to be grounded. It'll do that. Shut down the VFD. Tell. Signal's high enough to start it back up. So, built in low pressure alarm right there. Yeah. Okay. Got everything working, except I uh, just got to finish some of the lights, got the power light on. The LED in there so that'll never burn out. Pump one. Of this thing. So, system pressure, city pressure, kind of change it from low pressure to city because that's pretty much what makes more sense. It's on contactor one for pump one. So, if I, uh, and it's ramping up and down as the pressure changes, you know, depending on demand, I'm going to the size of the pipe. You leave it this thing. So, uh, I'm going to rotate this to two. Let's pull in that contactor for number two here. If they're delayed, it's bringing it back up. Watch that system pressure come up. VFD. Basically, you can see your differential right there between the city and what's coming up. So it's not much use right now, so the inverter is just coasting, man. Uh, let's see here. Operation. Yeah. 30 hertz, 29 hertz, and 225 volts, and it's a 460 volt motor, so it's just baby in it right now. Got the pressure switch hooked up. Watch this. Kill my water. Of course, I have to bleed the pressure. It's just it's trapped in the line. If you need to reprogram the setting, it's not kicking out quite early enough. But we'll hear in a second, probably. I got a little more at the math for the. There it went. Low pressure alarm. Think that's obvious enough? Uh, it's still reading some on there, even though it's zero. That's just because I got to fill up the math some more. That's because. Um, the new transducer I put on is 0 to 10 volts, which is what I set everything up for. But these old ones, I used one of the existing ones from the old system. It is 1 to, uh, here it is, 1 to 11 volts. I mean, what kind of crap is that? There it is. Output. Focus camera. Output 1 to 11 volts. So the lowest it goes to 1, which basically 1 volt out of the other one would be like 20 psi, so that's why I think it's black. So, all I need to do is just set my low pressure cutoff just a little bit higher and that'll be good. I would like to uh, let me put the money into an order, uh, design a circuit board and order it. Like I said, so I can just drop the parts on it and it'll look professional. Then breadboarded, which is what that is. And there's my relay board. I used a shielded cable switching five volts to this other relay and it, so far so good it's not uh, causing any sporadic readings or anything on my controller now with that 110 volt switching to that relay. So switch this back to pump one. That's the default now. There we go. Should be good to go for the night. Finish some of that stuff up tomorrow. 